In this presentation, we're going to be discussing Branch Track, which is an online tool that enables you to create interactive conversations that students can work through at their own pace. Okay, let's get started. Okay, so the first thing you need to go to is branchtrack.com. And when you arrive at the website, it looks something similar to this. Uh, if you have not signed up before, you need to click on the sign up for free option and the page will load and again it's pretty straightforward fill in the information create your account once you've created your account uh, you can log in so once you log in this is the screen that you'll see so if i click over here i can create a new project and it loads the branch track editor the first thing you do uh, is basically to double click and this is going to be the starting point for your interactive so we start off with scene one and we need to look at the first uh, thing that was going to be on the screen. So the way that this works is an interactive conversation. So in this scenario, uh, I've had to come up with a plan before I start of what the characters are going to say and what the reply is going to be. Uh, for this purpose, I've used uh, Microsoft Visio, which is installed on most of the Bond University's computers. Um, and you can see I've got a flow chart here which goes through all of the conversation and what the decisions are. So you can see here that William asks about issues with Dubious Enterprises, this fictional company. And uh, Charles has got an ethical decision to make whether he's going to uh, talk about that business or not. Um, and you can see it's got a green and red option there. If he goes with the red option, uh, that finishes the role play. Uh, if he goes with the right answer there, it goes through to the next question of the conversation. So I'm going to come back to this first part here where they're discussing uh, William's revealing a line of credit about to be cancelled. So if I come back into uh, branch track, the first part is, is what the, the character on the screen is going to be saying. So I've got here, Dubious Enterprises line of credit has been cancelled. Did you have any idea there were any issues? Uh, if I come back to Visio, you can see the two options there. Uh, Charles is going to share the information that they've increased, the company's increased shareholding, or he's going to say that there was no issues he was aware of. Uh, so I'm going to add those two options. I had no idea there were any issues. It's stakeholding in another company. So I've got two choices there. Uh, and if I come back to my Visio plan, so I can see those two choices are going to go into two different scenarios. One scenario is going to be end of the conversation, and obviously that's going to be a bad choice. And the other one uh, is going to lead to another conversation about William asking Charles if he's any personal gossip about Ted. So if I come back into branch track, I just need to double click. I can have two different scenes. Um, so the first idea, no issues, it's going to keep going. Do you have any personal gossip? And the other uh, option is a bad option. Okay, so with the other option, this is going to be the final option for the scenario. So you can see here you've got different reply options here. Uh, this will, There will be a feedback and score associated with this option because this is going to be um, the end of the uh, scenario. So we want to give it maybe a bad score, let's say 10. You've breached the trust of your client. And you can add a emotion to the character, whether they're happy, puzzled, angry, or sad. So I might make them angry on that particular option here. With this one, they might still be happy. Or maybe he'll be puzzled because he's wondering what's going on. Uh, and I'll come back to the first one here. You can see that that's mentioning that that's the first scene. So what I'm basically going to be doing now is I'm going to link that initial decision to these two options here. So I had no idea there were any issues. That is going to link to uh, the second question. Uh, the family has just increased its stake on another company, so which is the not so great uh, option. I'm going to link that to that section there. And when I click off, you can see that there are two options there available. And basically using this process, um, you can quickly build up a branch track, which includes a range of different options. So I'm just gonna leave that there because that's that's basically the starting of that. Uh, now, if I click on the design tab, you'll see that um, I've got some options to choose to do with character and background. So if I click on character, uh, I might decide that I'm gonna choose this character here. Now I can choose a background that's going to go with this theme. So maybe a 
background of an office scenario. Uh, and you can see that there's the two different options there. So if we make the, the uh, bad option, you can see that you've got a negative response. He's going to uh, breach the client's trust. <laughs> He's going to end it. Uh, so you can use this to build up a, a scenario. Once you've, you've finished your scenario, obviously you save it, and then you've got an option to deliver it. Okay, so before you share it, uh, the first thing you want to do would be to enter a project title. Uh, so this particular one is talking about code of ethics, so I might call, um, that's what I might title the branch track. I'm just going to save that. You see there's three options there, share a link, embed, or use offline. Uh, if sharing a link, that's, that's basically just going to create a page that they can open which has the uh, branch track in it. I'll just quickly show you what that's going to look like. Uh, so basically what you've got here is you've got the branch track there. They can restart it. They can go through it. Um, and if you wanted to, they can edit it. So this might be good if you're sharing a conversation with other people. Uh, this The other option is embedding. So this is an embedding link. You, if you're interested in embedding an island, that's not what you're interested in. What you really want is the iframe for embedding. Now, when I actually first did this, I had an issue with this particular branch track, whereas the iframe didn't come up. If that happens, what you want to do is you want to exit out of your branch track and then uh, go back in and reload it. And that, that seems to solve, solve the problem. So then I go back to edit project, deliver, and then the iframe will come up. What you'll notice about this code before you copy is, is you can see it's specified there a width and a height. Um, you, can, you can modify that if you want to. Um, so for example, uh, I happen to know with our um, island site that I've designed that 670 is a good width for it to work well on an iPad screen. So I'm going to limit the width to uh, 670. I might just reduce the height down. So if you want to control the size that that branch crack is going to be, that's where you would edit that. Now I've got my code, I'm going to copy it. I'm going to come into iLearn. Okay, so I might name this Code of Ethics Interactive Conversation. And so I've got some text. I'm basically going to put the embed code after this. So what I do is I click on HTML. And that opens up this HTML box. And you can see there, there's a bit of code there. Um, you don't have to worry too much about it. All you need to make sure that you do is you're putting the embed code after all of that code on the page. So I'm just going to paste it, update the page, and you can see it's actually put that in at the width that I specified. Uh, and if I just preview that, you can see what what's going to be created in iLearn. So you can see branch tracks just it's just fitted nicely inside inside that page, and, and I can just click on it, and away I go. Okay, and that, this will work on iPads and Android devices uh, and PCs. Okay, so if I come back into Branch Track, the last option that you have there uh, is using offline. It says export to SCORM package. Now, if you're interested in using one of these conversations in order to record some results on what the responses students are making, you will need to put it into a format such as a SCORM package. Uh, basically what a SCORM package is, is it enables you to embed this inside iLearn in such a way that the results, the choices that students make can be recorded. Uh, if you're interested in, in using branch track and you would like to go further with it, um, you'll probably find that you, you'll uh, hit the boundaries of what's possible rather quickly. You're only In the free version, you're only allowed to have three uh, different interactives at any one time. Uh, then you'll be looking at uh, upgrading. So. Um, I'll just briefly talk about what the options are. So the personal option, so basically this is a monthly uh, option. Uh, the personal option is still online. Uh, it's $19 a month. Uh, the business option is uh, allows you to um, export to different formats such as SCORM. Um, and then obviously the enterprise version, uh, which is more expensive again, uh, has more more um, detail as well and you can use that um, within an organization. I hope that you found this video useful and that Branch Track is a tool that you may be able to implement in your classes to engage your students in new ways. Thanks for watching.